39 seconds left in the half. The Eagles have the Dolphins held to a third and eight, and for the second time on the drive, previously having given up a third and 18, the Eagles give up a conversion in the way of a touchdown to Tyreek Hill. The coverage looked absolutely terrible. Nobody was even near him. What went wrong on this play? Did Terrell Edmonds not gain depth? Is this on James Bradbury? PFF says this is on James Bradbury. They charted him out with a 38.1 coverage grade and charged him with allowing this touchdown. 137 passer rating when targeted. Is PFF right? Is Eagles Twitter right? Are they both wrong? Let's dive into the tape. First, let's just watch the play run and you can form your own conclusion. So we've got Tyreek Hill at the top of the screen, at the snap of the ball, right in between Bradbury and Edmonds. That's about as easy of a throw as you'll get. Like, not a particularly hard throw, back pylon, touchdown. So what's going on on this play? The Eagles are running a coverage that's doubling Tyreek Hill. It's called a bracket coverage. And so what bracket coverage is going to do, it tasks James Bradbury with playing low and outside. This is like a cover one technique. You know, cover one, you want to play outside leverage and force the defender into the middle where you typically have safety or linebacker help, you typically have safety help. Now, this is not cover one, but the same idea applies here, that the Eagles are wanting uh, to funnel Tyree Kill inside. And so uh, Bradbury has low and outside. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, is going to be responsible for inside and over the top. Now, you can see at the snap of the ball that Edmonds steps down very hard to take away inside routes. Look at Look at his hips. You're not coming inside on this, but he has no chance whatsoever to take away this deep ball. And so this is a failure on Terrell Edmonds to not get over the over the top, to not take care of one of his responsibilities, right? Or is it? I mean, you think about this being a safety, not a particularly great safety, by the way, but this is a safety with limited athleticism going against one of the toughest receivers, the fastest receivers in the entire NFL. And what do the Dolphins like to do? They like to run this inbreaker, and they like to run the top route. And by asking Terrell Edmonds to cover both of those, to be responsible for both, that's an impossible ask. You have to pick one or the other. And I think it's really clear by the way he plays this. Eagles fans said he doesn't get enough depth. That's because he was never concerned about over the top. They were never concerned about Hill taking this route vertical. This was always designed to take away the inbreaker. So why would you design why would you design it like this? It's third and eight. You're down near the red zone. Why are you so concerned about giving that up at the expense of the deep ball? And this is where context comes into play. I just want to show you the three plays the the three plays in a row before this one. We have Tyree Kill at the top here. Let's watch what route he runs. Going to get the motion here at the snap of the ball. What does he run? Inbreaker. Ball's on him right at the numbers. The Eagles rally and tackle. So that's three plays before. Two plays before at the top, Hill, inbreaker. The ball doesn't go his way, but we've got two inbreakers in a row. And then the third one, we've got Hill at the top. We get the motion out. We're going to get an inbreaker. So three plays in a row prior to this, and Hill's open here, but the pass rush gets home for a sack. Three plays in a row, you've had inbreakers. And so you're playing tendencies. And it's not just a tendency here, but per Philly Films on YouTube, on 17 plays this season of third and long, remember this is third and long, third and eight, without a bunch alignment, we're not in bunch here, Hill has run only one vertical route versus 16 in-breaking routes. So they were majorly playing tendencies, and they got beat. They were wrong. They rolled the dice. They chose wrong. They give up a touchdown. And that's one of the things about football. It is a chess match. Whoever holds the clipboard last wins. If you're the Eagles and you know it's a go route, you could change this coverage and you wouldn't get beat over the top. And if you're the Dolphins and you know the Eagles are going to change the coverage, now you run the end breaker. And it's just this checks and balances all the way through. Now let's go to the final drive and show a way the Eagles adjusted to this. This is going to be a coverage called Ring 10. Uh, the 10 stands for Tyreek Hill's number. We're ringing number 10. And what that means is we're playing what's called a fist technique on number 10 side. So on this side of the field up here, we're playing a fist technique. That means Darius Slay in coverage, he's going to take inside leverage. He's going to play underneath and inside. And then he has safety help over the top 
and outside. And if you think about it, again, what are our two main areas we're worried about? The end breaker, and we're worried about the vertical route. And now we have a safety that's over the top. We've got a cornerback that's going to be on the inside. We're splitting these responsibilities now. Tyreek Hill's still very dangerous. Nobody's responsible for taking away both of the areas that he is so dangerous. On the other side of the field, we're playing what's called pounder. That's just straight man coverage. And we've got a safety in a quarters technique. He's playing off tendencies. He could look to rob a crosser if they run crossers. He can squeeze her out on his side. That's not really important, but watch at the snap. Slay is going to force the outside release here, and he just sinks underneath. He's got the end breaker, right? He doesn't have to worry about over the top because he's got safety help over the top. This was a great adjustment by the Eagles, by Sean Desai. Leads to a sack here. This isn't one where the pass rush just immediately wins. I mean, it's a good pass rush rep as well. But this is fantastic coverage by Slay. Great job by Edmonds staying on top. Different forms of coverage for different situations. This time the Eagles get the right play call in. So who do we put responsibility on for the touchdown? Is it James Bradbury? I would argue no. He's supposed to play low and outside. Is it Terrell Edmonds? Maybe. He's supposed to play inside and over the top. I say that's an impossible ask. Does it go on Sean Desai for calling this play? Well, I just talked about the tendencies. He played the tendencies and lost. It's one of those things where perfect offense beats perfect defense, but the defense adjusted later in the game.